In this video, we look at the advantages and disadvantages of dehydrogenation of fats. So we'll start with the advantages. Hydrogenation changes a liquid oil to a semi-solid or solid to make the melting point of an unsaturated fat more like that of a saturated fat. Another advantage is hydrogenation decreases the rate of oxidation. That's because stability increases with increasing saturation and it also increases hardness of the fat and finally it controls the feel and plasticity or the stiffness of the fat. Next we look at the disadvantages of dehydrogenation of fats. Mono and polyunsaturated fats are healthier for the heart than saturated fats. In partial hydrogenation trans fats can form. Trans fats are hard to metabolize they accumulate in fatty tissue and are difficult to excrete from the body. Trans fats also increase levels of LDL cholesterol and are a low quality energy source. 